I guess the only thing left now, obviously, the flight test. You already know what I'm doing with that. Remember to leave comments about Ghosts of Love, of our love, so I can figure out how to do that one. And then the daily keys is just going to come over time. I got eight more to go. Room of requirements, those where we need to go now. So, what was I get a conjuring spell, a Benesco, and a conjuring spellcraft. My requirements to be level six. I'm level 16 or something like that. Yeah, level 16. Let me come over here and check my gear real quick. Let's see. That just lowers everything. Of course, I got those two things, which since we're going to the room of requirements, I'll now get to know what those question mark ones are. That doesn't help. This wouldn't even help if I had it unlocked. Robes. Doesn't help. Doesn't help. I think we get to the point where I'm too strong. Nothing's really going to help anymore. Everything is just going to hurt me. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I Rebellion. don't plan to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. All right, yet another spell. This is Evanesco, Evanesco. Bam. Ever since I like saw myself miss that first one, I haven't had too many problems with that red thing coming after me. This is a, uh, it's like gray. That I'll probably Splendid. ever need this one. Now, cast Evanesco on those. All right, so we'll put that instead of Repero for right now. Excellent oh. work! Wow, it just straight up disappeared. It. Okay. Moonstone. moonstone? Yeah, I've got a bunch of them. Let's move I would say I got way more Moonstone than Rebellion. that. I'm finding Moonstone everywhere. What's over here? Merlin's name is that elf. Hey, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned to me. Goodness. My old school bag. I'm I trying to get to the loot. Where that had got Dang, to. it's all over there. I get to that loot. I can't believe it's still here. I'll your old school bag. So you use this room? This. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate. Can't you keep it down? Some yep. of yes, Professor. Definitely. What? I met all the photos uh, be talking. Rebellion. There we go. Let's go ahead and disappear that. I can now run again. Let's go ahead and get these. Alright, pull that out. There we go. Ooh, okay. Now my boy wanna climb. This has been earlier. You don't, you, you don't be climbing like that, but. Oh, dang. How do I get that down? Look, look, now all of a sudden he don't wanna climb. How the heck am I supposed to get that? Um, let me 
Let's see. You get this to come this way. What the? Did... Hey, yo, that thing just disappeared. That's crazy. All right, we'll, we'll just keep it moving. I'm Hope not even gonna worry about it. This isn't as precarious as it looks. That thing literally just disappeared on me while I was trying to Rebellion. figure out how to count it. An intruder, man! Shut up, for our beast and feast oh, no, on you. Oh, wait, is there? Did I miss the treasure chest back here? Oh wait, no, no, no. I think it's there. It is. It just got moved back to place. Okay. So let's reveal some stuff. Let's keep moving. What's this? Oh, just trimming the hedges. Uh, oh, this way. All right. Just collect some stuff. Kind of basically walk around and square on everything. See what everything do. Okay. Ooh, that looks pretty pretty. That looks pretty pretty. That's how I be talking to my how dog. Right? Pretty pretty. I just get around it. <laughs> nah, but for real though, these, these are some nice looking lights. I'm trying to get to this coins though. What was that? What the? Is that another one of the Dedalian keys? Was that a golden stitch? Lumos. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Rebellion. What did he say for us to summon my wits and find out? Perhaps you should shut up. Alright, so I'm gonna move this out the way. I appreciate sure that's probably all I gotta do is just move it out the way and I can come this way. Rebellion. Anything over here on this side? I hear that thing flying around. I don't know where it just went to, but I can hear it flying. All right, let's go this way. I don't think I'm supposed to climb up. Uh. Yeah, I'm not. I, I, I'm I'm trying to figure out what to do, but. Can I push things to Accio? Like, can I go this way? I think maybe put it on this side, maybe? Accio. I mean, it might be possible. Let's, let's see. Let's go this way with it, and then put it onto this side. Right up against this wall. Come, come on! Wow, are you serious? Are you serious? That, all right, I'm done. I'm done. You know, sometimes you got like your 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 extent to how much you'll try to do something, and when it don't make sense like that, yeah, you just kind of give up and keep it moving. I don't even want what's back there anymore. I hope that house I, I really can find care. us in here. What's back here? They got a bright blue light. I can't run anymore, so this might be something. Oh, here we go. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. 
Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward hey. to seeing what you do with the space. This room looks ah. nice. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. Desk of description? What does it that mean? It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Okay. One should always Ooh. understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. So does that mean I can now go to my gear and see what this stuff is now? Well, first thing I'll do is check this out. Okay, we'll take the plus one. Now, face wear. But I have. They said I meant the room of requirements. Oh, here we go. So I'm gonna continue. Let's go ahead and identify some gear then. Tan cloak, crematic mask, clinic mask. Okay. So now that we know that, when I come up to my gear. I can now see, ooh, plus, oh, uh, that's a plus 42. I got excited. Plus eight seems to be the best thing I can do. So we'll do that. But you already know what I'm about to do. Go none. Why would I have that on my beautiful face? Headwear. All right, there's nothing there. It's just lots. Nothing there. I know I had something somewhere else. Outfit there. Hmm? I know I had something else that was question mark. Did I, not, did I sell it? I didn't think I sold it. I thought I kept all my question mark stuff to myself. Oh, actually, it might be this robe. I might be tripping. Yeah, none of these help anyway. And then outfits just to double check. Okay. So, I mean, the only thing we did basically get plus, what was that, eight to my offense? You'll or find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Ooh, conjuring spell. It's like a little loop-de-loop. -loop. It's actually not that bad. There we go. So now I get to make up stuff that I want. Very good. All I want for my when birthday is... complex I'm objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Alright, bet. So... Now I've got to equip the conjuring spell. 
So instead of the Confringo thing or the, the I gotta remember the names of these spells, Defrin, Defrindo, I'll go ahead and use the Conjuring. So boom, okay, so now I can do this. Items used to brew potions, herbology, items used to grow plants, utility, wall hanging, artwork, decorations, furniture, rugs, seating, tables, statues. So which ones do I, potions? Okay, here goes the brewing station. So small. Scientific, botanic, eat a goth. I, I don't know. We're just gonna go with this one. All right, and I can put this wherever, I guess. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it up here against the wall then and see. Right there, bam. Okay. I can make multiple if I need to. Let's see, can I change? Okay, yeah, I can. Let's see, I can rotate the object. Oh, 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 oh no. I almost broke it. All right. Right there. Wait, what? I have. You have reached your budget for. I can only have one? That's, t that's tough. I can really only have one. I got all this stuff and you gonna have, you gonna let me have one, that's crazy. Alright. Then I'll just put this right here next to it. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming okay, cool. of course you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Oh, that's what touching some of this stuff does? I mean, it don't really do anything, so I'm not gonna like. I I, I feel no reason to like just have have the room like looking decorative and stuff. So I'm not going to use any of this stuff. I think it's dope that I have it, but yeah, I'm not gonna be using any of that. I just want to use those two things for now. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Well, shoot, I mean, if you're gonna be right here, might as well get to it then, right? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? So I have to do this then? I'll read in the mail later. Um... I might as well just... Let's see... Uh... I would like to teach you Wingardium what? Leviosa. It can okay. be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Alright, certainly will. Let's just go ahead and throw that right there, why not? And then we'll go back and... Is it is it gonna make me do everything or can I? Oh, I gotta I gotta do five of them. Oh my gosh.
I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Her spells are the weakest ones, bro. Ain't nobody trying to learn this. Ain't nobody trying to learn this spell. I'm trying to learn something that's going to let me decapitate a ninja. You want me to learn how to change furniture like I'm a decor... What's that What's that job called? Just when they decorate stuff? Just aim any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Bro, ain't nobody trying to try nothing on the new floor or balcony. Let me get Your that. That sounds good. Benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Okay. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. You know I had to as a Slytherin dog. I needed dark and eerie and scary. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. There's that interior decorator. There it is, an interior decorator. I am not an interior decorator. All right, so I saw we got another quest too. So what we got? We got hers to use when guardian Leviosa. I got to acquire and use a venomous tentacula. Acquire and use a mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. So that sounds like things that are pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I I probably might do that one on my own too as well. I know I want to do that one on my own. Y'all want to go ahead and go to the main mission? Why not? Let's go ahead and wrap things up here with at least in this recording session. Let's go to the map chamber. Like I said, I, I'm probably gonna have to use those ones on my own. I think if I go to inventory, it says what? Venomous Tacticula and a Mandrake. I don't think I have those. I have the token, yeah, I know. I have these two letters. These are my resources. I have Stench of the Dead. <laughs> I don't know what that does. Don't I have some of those animal things? I think I have to come up here like this. I don't have any. So where am I supposed to get those from? I'm pretty sure I have some, yo. Let me go back to L1. Chopper. Ch yeah, Venomous Tacticula. I knew I had some. Now I need to find a lot by acquiring Mandrake Seeds at Dogweed and Death Cap. So I need to go over there and get those and I need to use 
just use them on enemies basically just go get just go pick a fight pretty much so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and just jump into this next main mission and i will do that in my free time and then i'll show you guys obviously me getting the the uh spell so don't worry about that i'm not gonna leave y'all in the dust for that one but we're at least gonna do this map chamber and finally talk to my dude um what's his name <laughs> i forgot his name already uh fig that's right fig so let's go over here to the Transfiguration Courtyard. And see what he's talking about, man. I, I wonder how his trip went. You know, my dude went to, where did he go again? London or something like that? Like, my dude has been gone for a good minute. Like, I've learned so much stuff since you've been gone, Professor Fig. Like, I am an absolute now beast now. You don't even know. Back, I'm ready to take on all challenges. Akio. Man, shut up. Get back here. <laughs> you lucky I'm not ready to take you on as a Crosswinds Challenger. Because you'd be totally... They lucky I don't got crosswinds now, bro. Like maybe I should save those missions for now. That would have been so easy with all these spells. And I feel like I'm way better at actually dueling now. Dueling, fighting, whatever you want to call it. Like I'm way better now. Sheesh. I did not pick the right um Yeah, I'm going the right way. I did not pick the right location to fast travel to. Who's that screaming? Was that say, did that say Everett? Eddie. Who the heck is that? Who the heck is I'll leave you alone, bro. I'm, I'm going to class. Like, let me through the door. <laughs> I don't even know who that is or what he is, but whoever he is is getting towed up from the floor. I was hoping hey. to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which- Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes, I thought it was odd too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. That's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Ah, uh, yeah. Finally, we're going to, to learn a little bit more. Chamber, by the way. So and we're the going to the match. Professor yes, Rackham awaits us there. Professor yes, Rackham. Rebellion. I look forward to meeting sure nothing you. Around me. How did this yeah, Jackdaw cool. get the pages from the book? Evidently, I'm gonna let them talk for a little bit. Stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Yeah, that boy Peeves is stealing everything. Good, bad, in between. He just always I out here doing nothing. It was beneath us all this time. If only you were here to see this.
Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going. And there it is, y'all. So finally getting to do, I guess, a trial for my dude right there. And we'll see what that all entails, but we'll get to that in the next episode, man. So if you guys are ready to go ahead and see that, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for your boy. Obviously, we got a long travel, but man be quiet i ain't trying to listen to you long talk or a long journey to get over there to that but we will get that in the next episode so what you guys can kind of expect since i am closing out the video i will probably let me come look at these quests real quick knock out because we got madam K kagawa with an assignment now so i'll probably knock out these two things like the uh i guess four things to lead up to those spells and this flight test off camera and if you guys leave a comment for this i'll knock out the ghost of love too and then when we come back we'll of course do both of those spells and then we'll go 
see Percival uh, Rackham's trial. So, you guys are ready for that? Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for your boys. For your boy, SDG, aka the King of Games, aka Sly, Slytherin Smooth. And I will catch you guys in the next video, man. I'm gone. <laughs>